Um, I look on your chart and you have um, a lumbar spine issue. It looks like we can make up anything. Um, let's, we'll use a herniated disc again. I can see that you have a, a herniated disc in uh, your lumbar spine. How's the pain today? Um, it's about a five out of ten. Does it go up or down with any special movement? Does it go, when's the pain less? Um, it's less when I'm walking slowly. Okay. Oh, okay. So what we'll do at the end of the treatment today, we'll talk about some things we can do about your posture. Maybe we'll help your low back. All right. Um, what we're going to do today is um, I make sure I know my order. Um, is it okay if I do the treatment today and put my hands on you and do some stuff? Sure. All right. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called lumbar um, extension program. And so what we're trying to do is because the disc herniation or protrusion, your doctor might have already said, is the, the nucleus of the, uh, the intervertebral disc or your disc is pushing out against the nerve, and that's what's causing the pain. It's so what like I, jelly. Yeah. So I should call it like a jelly donut. We're going to try to push the jelly and the donut back into the disc, okay? So that will help bring the pain back. So in order to do that, we were going to do an extension program, which helps you go into extension. That's why when you're walking because you're standing up tall is trying to push the jelly back in the donut. So that's what we're going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have you lay down on your tummy. And I, before, go ahead and stand up. Maybe a couple more fellows. Thank you, thank you. So, Becky, what I need you to do is I'm going to have you get uh, on your knees right here and I want you to put your tummy on these, these high pillows that when you lay down because they're full of air, they'll, they'll flatten out. All right, and the reason we're using, woohoo! We're using the pillows is I don't think you're quite ready to lay completely flat on your stomach. Do you think you could lay flat on your stomach if I asked you right now? Uh, probably not. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, as this starts to, you might feel a little bit of, um, hopefully as you're laying here, uh, the pain, if you have any pain down your leg, it should move towards your low back. Okay, good. We'll hold it there. So this is something you can do at home. This will help. You need to do this at home because if you're only coming in three days a week to see me, uh, it's we're not gonna. It's gonna take much much longer for you to get it well. Okay. How's that feeling now? Good. Okay. I need you to lift up your belly button. I'm gonna pull out one pillow and then lay back down. Tell me if you feel anything as you're laying there. Oh, a little bit. All right. You know what P uh, PT stands for, right? Pain. And torture. Yeah. So I'm a pain yeah, and torture specialist. Me, what? Especially when I came to you. Yeah, I am the master. Or, you know what? I've been called a physical terrorist, too. So, <laughs> however you want to look at it. How many times have you told them to uh, 5,000 times. <laughs> I say it all the time. <laughs> no, I just say everybody. So, anyways. All right, how are you feeling, Becky? Good. All right, I'm going to have you lift up your belly, and we're going to go one more time. Actually, I'm going to pull out both of the pillows and see if you can tolerate laying flat on your stomach. Just to let you know, we can't, we're can't. we not going to get through this whole thing typically on a regular day because it takes a while for our back to get used to being in extension. But the next thing is, is I'm going to have you progress to your elbows. Can you go up onto your elbows? Now, you have some bones right here in the front of your hips. But we want to make sure you stay up and stay on the on the bed or on the mat. If it pops up, that means our back can't handle it. How's the pain in the back? Good. All right. And the last step is, what do you think it would be? I always ask. I try to get them to think. Um, maybe going up on the. Ah, I like it. Yeah, try to go up on your hands like you're kind of in a push up, but keep your your hips on the mat. She might be. Oh, and if you can do it with your arms straight, and if you have to put your hands a little bit further in front, it take, it, you're not as arched. Okay, and we're going to do this until you can you can do this all the time with no pain, and that we're trying to we'll stretch out this a little bit, but we're trying to push the jelly back into the donut. All right, I'm going to have you come sit on the edge of the mat. All right, doing okay? <laughs> Excellent. Good. So, since you could do all those things, now I'm going to teach you how to, um, our, our, most people's trunks are weak. It doesn't matter if you're a crossfitter 
or a couch potato. Everyone's trunks are usually kind of weak. So we're going to work on what's called the static lumbar stabilization program. I could say it's all about the trunk. We're going to work all these trunk muscles so that they're strong so that they can hold your back in the right position while you're walking, while you're watching TV, while you're driving. So, when I'm... I have a six-pack at the end of this? Yes. No, not really. I wish you could. Maybe a little bit, but it's all about the trunk. But we're going to work on some of those exercises. So, because now you can lay flat on your stomach, we can start the static lumbar stabilization program. So, the first thing I'm going to have you do is I need you to start on your stomach again. So, it's all right, but I'm going to have you lay back on your stomach. We don't need any pillows because you're way past that now. And what I want you to do is uh, put your hands by your side for the, for the time being. And, yeah, just put your head to the side. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to put my hands on your hips. Can you uh, roll your hip into the mat a little bit and then roll underneath? That's probably not comfortable, is it? No. So I want you to roll back here and kind of find the halfway point in between. And when you think you found the middle, just stop. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to lift up on your belly button and try to pull it into your spine. Just pull your belly button in. Try not to change your back position when you do that. And then you gotta hold and breathe while you're pulling up in your tummy. If you hold your breath, you won't be able to do the other exercises. All right, you're doing pretty good. So the next exercise, so that we call that pelvic neutral. It means your pelvis is in the, in the neutral position and that should have the less, the least amount of pain in your low back. How's your head? I have you put your arms over your head. Ever, are you a swimmer? Occasionally. You know how you do, uh, I want you to do swimmers with your arms. What I want you to do is, I want you to do alternating arms like you're swimming, like you're kicking, but you're kicking with your arms. But remember what I said at the beginning, this program is all about the trunk. So you gotta pull up in your belly. Don't change this position. We're gonna increase the intensity by using your arms, okay? All right, let's just try five on each arm. Can you do that? And I'm going to make sure that you don't change your position. Excellent. Pretty good. Are you breathing? Yep. All right. <laughs> All right. How many is that? I'll ask count. Let's start over. I was that to you. Okay, and relax. Is that 10? Five on each side? Good. So because you're doing well, I'm going to move on to your legs. But let's say you're not able to. We're going to stay with your arms until we can keep this stable the whole time, all right? Mm -hmm. And we have to work on repetitions because five is not enough. We need to be able to do this 25 or 30 times mm -hmm. in a row. So, But we're going to move on. I know. So what I want you to do is this time, instead of doing the swimmers with your arms, we're going to do swimmers with your legs. Can you find the pelvic neutral for me, please? All right. Legs together, and now do little kicks one at a time. Up, oh, perfect, excellent. And as an instructor, I would say, okay, move on. And then I would say the next one is alternating arms, and then we could say Superman. And then I'm going to say the next progression is I'm going to have Becky roll over onto her back, and we're going to do supine. But uh, Becky, let sit up first. I have to set up my lumbar spine roll. Sorry. <laughs> so the reason I'm going to use the lumbar spine roll Becky, is, I, want to main, I want you to maintain that arch while we're doing these exercises. When you lay on your back, your back tends to go flat, and that's probably when you have some pain. So we're going to use the lumbar spine. So what I'm going to have you do is you can uh, probably just lay down on your side. We're going to put this right at your hip, and then when you roll to your back, this will be in the middle of your lumbar spine. Okay? Perfecto. And then go ahead and roll to your back and keep your knees bent up. All right. What would be first, do you think, we're going to do here? Hmm. What did we do when you're on your stomach? Neutral pelvic. Might want to find my pelvic. Yeah, so I'm going to find your pelvic neutral again, all right? Put your hands on your hips. Okay, roll a little bit underneath. That's a posterior tilt. You're going to do an anterior tilt. Now find the middle. Now, instead of pulling your belly button up, I want you to pull your belly button down to the lumbar spine. Or to the roll. Okay. Or to the mat. Are you good? Mm -hmm. All right. 
Let's do alternating arms, like we did on our stomach. But this time, I just want you to start with your arms above your head. Whoops, whoops. We'll start here. We'll go up. Wait. Here he doesn't know what he's doing. So we're going to go up here. And then as this arm comes down, the other arm goes up. Can you do that for me? Mm -hmm. Keep this nice and tight. Pull that belly a bit. And then just go to 90 degrees. You don't have to go over your head yet. And how many do you think we'll have to work up to? I like it. You are such a smart patient. I'm not talking because this is educating my patient, right? All right. What do you think the next exercise would be? Uh, probably my legs. Yeah, let's try the marching. This, what I want you to do is I want you to just lift up your foot just a little bit and then down and then lift up the other foot and down. Pull your tummy in and let's do five on each side. Nice and slow. Try not to let your hips roll back and forth. Pull them down. Okay, good. At this point, I'm going to say what's the last progression? I'm not, because what, what time are we at, um, Derek? 12. 12 minutes. So, all right. So I think the last one is bridging, right? Is the last exercise bridging? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll do bridge. I would say just tell me bridging. Okay, go ahead and sit up. All right, I chose um, levator scap as my stretch. I'm going to have you move to the edge. I'm going to say it's the right, it doesn't matter if it's right or left. Becky, I'm gonna, we're going to stretch your levator scapula. It goes from your, the uh, top of your scapula up to your neck muscles here on your spine, cervical spine. And I know it's tight, so I want you to put this arm over your head and kind of like you're going to, you're laying, you're stretching out. I'm going to put my hand right here on your, uh, grabbing your elbow, and I want you to tilt your head away from the right side. I want you to tilt your head to the left. You feel a stretch? Yeah. Now I'm going to hold your head so it doesn't move. I'm not going to push down on it, but I don't want your head to pop back up as I'm pushing down. And I'm going to push down with my forearm onto your levator scap. Do you feel a stretch? So I'm going to hold this for 30 seconds. Usually I'm talking, hey, how's the weather? How are you? How's your boy? He's good. He's good. How's school going for him? Pretty good. Excellent. kindergarten soon. All right. Is he uh, got a girlfriend yet? Uh, yeah. Okay. I figured. She All doesn't right. know yet, though. Uh, okay. And then I'm going to back off. And this, that's how I'm, uh, I'm going to stretch you here. But now I'm going to show you how you can do this stretch at home. So I'm going to shake it out. Take your arm back up. So at home, you basically do the same thing. But with your hand, your hand you're going to hold your head, pull it to the side. Don't yank on your head. Then a little stretch. And then try to lift your arm up as much as you can on your own. You're not going to get as good of a stretch that I give you, just because it's harder to do that. But don't let your head pop, pop up. But that should help stretch that levator scalp. Mm -hmm. How long do you hold? 30 seconds. Good. And how many times? Three to five. All right. You may put your hands down. And your treatment's done. Thank you, Becky. Thank you, Louise. How long was that? 14 minutes. I did a you few little... Record. It will take a little bit less time because I'll have the pillows here. You'll have I won't technically start the clock until after you wash your hands, but I did the whole washing of the hands. You'll have all the equipment, but that's about. I'm not going to have you do. I'm not going to have you do every single. Um, yeah, each one. I'm not going to have you do it. You're going to show me the first couple. And you'll tell me what's at the end, and move on. Yes, Garrett. Yeah, that's all you're on. Okay. All right. Did I miss anything on the paper? All right. That's it. So, the three stretches. Once again, the upper trap, levator, and the scalings. If you don't know how to do those stretches, I gave you handouts on it. Everyone should have brought their Bible. I would definitely make sure you know how to do the flexion program and the extension program because you don't know what you're going to get, okay? But, and I would definitely know, even though I'm, I might not ask you to do them all, I might have you name them all, okay? In order. All right? Any questions? All right. Let's get to it.